The 150 square meter building is in Beijing Shuni District. Niu Jian started working on the home in February last year on a plot of land provided by a friend. It took Niu and his family about two months to build the house at a cost of 48,000 U.S. dollars. The family started renting out their apartment in downtown Beijing and moved into their new home in April last year. The one-story building has six rooms, a rooftop garden, and a courtyard. The home was full of blossoming flowers and flourishing plants when the family moved into the complex last spring. I want to show people that they can choose their way of life. They can enjoy a slice of paradise while still keeping the more modern elements of life. Electricity is provided by solar panels and a wind power system. The electricity generated by the home is enough to power LED lamps for a vegetable shelf. The kitchen has a trash disposal system that can be used to process leftover food. Anything that can't be processed is buried in the courtyard garden to fertilize the soil. Another system is designed to recycle sewage and kitchen waste, converting it into methane for cooking and heating. Yet another system is used to collect rainwater and sewage and process it into clean water for the bathroom, as well as to irrigate the house's gardens. The main purpose of growing vegetables and plants is to get rid of our daily waste. We believe that there should be no trash. Only things that can be reused become garbage. Niu said the home's recycling systems are designed to demonstrate sustainability. However, most of the energy that the family uses in the house still comes from the city grid. Niu keeps a spare shelf of tools in the living room, encouraging family members and visitors to create or fix things themselves. Real estate developers, travel agencies, and journalists have all shown interest in a sustainable home. The second phase of Niu's project will begin in May. He has selected a dozen volunteer families who have agreed to move to a designated area in Beijing suburbs to form a new community. After a 48-day training program, the families will work together to live more sustainably and promote more environmentally friendly ways of living. People in big cities consume so many resources and produce so much waste. This wrong way of living and making waste has led to severe pollution. I'm trying to demonstrate a solution that allows people to recycle daily waste on a community-wide level. I hope more families will join in and learn to live a sustainable life.